Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and much appreciated you guys making a little time out of your day to watch the video. Today we're gonna to be uh, continuing our lure category series and we're gonna be talking about fishing the centipede because guys, the centipede is one of my favorite springtime lures. There's a couple different ways to rig them and fish them and give you guys some good tips on that. And also I wanted to remind everybody, you, know, you guys know I've been talking about fishing lures a lot the last couple of weeks. If you guys are interested in purchasing, purchasing uh, any fish, these lures or any other lures, um, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description. Baitworks is a tackle shop I work with here in Springfield, Missouri. They have a store and they also have an online business. It's, guys, the greatest tackle store in the world. They got everything you could need and you can check them out um, online. I'll put the Baitworks link in the description of this video. And if you use that link, that's a good way to help the channel out here. So much appreciated there. Okay, guys, let's talk about this. The uh, Zoom Centipede. Um, this is, guys, this has been one of my favorite baits for many, many years. It's been around for a long time. Um, I've just caught so many good fish on this bait, specifically uh, in the March through May time frame is my favorite time to fish it. And I, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about a couple different ways to fish it and where you need to look at it. Um, the first way I want to talk about it is fishing it on a split shot rig. Now, what you do is you take the centipede and get a... Uh, I like to use this as a one-aught uh, Gamagatsu uh, uh, G Finesse hybrid worm hook. It's a little wire hook. It's got an offset on it. It's a you know it's a light wire hook, and that's what you need in this little finesse bait. And for all the applications I'm talking about, this is how I rig all of them. I, I use the hybrid worm hook, and I come through just like about a quarter of an inch, and then I'll run it all the way through the centipede to where it comes out the backside like that. You can see. And then I'll just sort of, you know, maybe just barely put the hook tip. tip. Sometimes I'll, I'll just lay it just like that without burying it back in there. But if, if it's snaggy or something, I'll just bury it back in there a little bit uh, just to make sure it's straight. So this is the rigging setup for the two different ways I'm talking about fishing it. Now, the first way that I'm going to talk about is on what I was talking about, the split shot rig. All you do on this is tie is just you know tie your centipede on just like that with the hook and then get a little split shot you can get a split shot anywhere walmart or whatever and crimp and a split shot if you do, if you haven't seen it guys it's this little round ball of lead and it's got like a little cut in it and what you do is just come up your line about 18 inches and crimp that split shot on to the centipede so what happens is that little split shot normally like a anywhere between an eighth to a quarter of an ounce that split shot will stay on the bottom like where my finger is here and the centipede will sort of float up off the bottom and it sort of just floats along freely behind it. So what I'll do is I'll rig it on eight pound test line and a spinning rod. I'll make a long cast out there and I'll just let it go to the bottom and I'll just sort of drag it back like that. I'll reel it up, just pull it and drag it along the bottom. Um, not really hopping it, I just really drag it. And all of a sudden, uh, you'll just feel your, your line will just get spongy and your line will start swimming off. And that's when you got a fish on it. Now, the other time, the way that I fish it is just on a Texas rig. We've talked about Texas rigs. I'll put just a, a bullet sinker anywhere between one eighth to a quarter ounce ahead of it. And I'll pitch this and flip it around whatever cover I'm fishing. It, it could be boat docks. It could be, uh, you know, lay down trees. It could be grass, whatever. But if the water is a little bit more off colored, um, I'm usually Texas rigging it, pitching it. But that split shot, guys, is the way that I like to fish it in the springtime. So the areas that you want to fish it in is go back into the areas that you think the bass are getting ready to spawn. Now, if you're not familiar with that, bass normally like to spawn in shallow water and protected water, normally like in the back of coves and stuff like that, where it's not, it's, it's not getting a lot of wind and it gets a lot of sun and it doesn't get a lot of wave action like that. So Try to find the areas in the water that you're fishing where you think the fish are spawning and throw this little split shot uh, in that particular area. A lot of times a little bit deeper. So say, for example, if you think the fish may be spawning in three or four foot of water, back out and fish maybe like in five to ten feet of water around those same areas. Also, points are real good areas uh, because a lot of times right before the fish spawn and right after they spawn, they, they live on points, particularly around the coves too. And the split shot rig is a really good way to catch them. Now, colors is pretty simple. Most of the time I'm using some type of a watermelon like this or a green pumpkin if the water visibility is, say, over three feet. 
if the water is a little bit dirtier and I'm Texas rigging it and pitching it around cover, sometimes I'll go to like a June bug or a little bit darker color. But guys, I don't know what it is. The, the French fry, a lot of, some people call it the French fry. I'll call it the centipede. Excellent lure during the springtime of the year. Guys also use this on a Carolina rig too. So it's a, it's pretty versatile in those terms, but go get you a few guys. Like I said, I'll put the bait works link in the description. This is just a, a definite lure you want to have in your box in the springtime. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys later.